Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be another at home quarantine vlog. Today I'm doing something really fun. I'm actually doing a virtual Skype Pilates workout. I got into contact with this girl. She messaged me initially about something else, something to do with work. And then she watched my first quarantine vlog where I did the Pilates class. And she actually asked me if I wanted to do a virtual private Pilates session. So um, I'm about to get on Skype with her. I'm super excited. Her name's Christy Wang. So I'll have all her info in the description box, as always. Um, definitely go follow her, check her out. Um, it's gonna be 50 minutes, and I have a feeling it's gonna be really tough, especially because I'm already kind of sore, to be honest. Um, I feel like basically all that I've been doing while I've been inside is obviously editing and stuff, but mostly like working out. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit, um, the daily workout outfit check. Today's outfit is actually a little bit on the brighter side. I know that I always wear black or gray, <laughs> um, but today we're wearing red. <laughs> Basic black Nike sports bra. Um, and then my leggings are from this brand called Do You Even? I got these off Poshmark actually because I wanted to try their brand without like pay a million dollars for shipping. So that's a, that's a little hack if you wanna try a new brand, just get a pair from Poshmark and if they don't fit well, you can always resell them. But yeah, super cool. I love the way they fit. They're so comfortable, so soft. I'm like pleasantly surprised by how amazing these are. Hey, <laughs> so this is Christy. We're about to do our workout. Do you want to just actually explain what you're doing during this time? I'm a Pilates instructor based out of Boston, but I've been doing more virtual sessions just because of how the environment is going and the health crisis that's going on. So I have privates and semi-privates available online. And I also have like a little bundle of the workout videos you can get for $10 and that's all on my website. Yes, girl. Yes. Everything will be linked in the description box. I like a little, like, they might swivel around a little. Um, have you heard of bottle bagels? No. They're like one pound weights that are adjustable. You can wear them on your wrist and your ankles. Once they're workouts, now I'm putting them on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. okay. So, the way this is going to work is I'll, like, mainly be sitting here. Good. And then you'll come all the way up. Good, for H, and up. One more, you're gonna hold it low, you're gonna stay, then draw the belly in just a little deeper, just your arms a little closer up. For 10, 9, H, 7, 6, you hold it still, you're gonna flip your arms. Flip, and flip, good. Camera, you're not bopping off the down as well as Good, there you go. Go for H, 7, last 6, 5, Keep it lower. Yeah, there you go. Good. Now hold it there. It's a little harder, a little lower basket. Good. Step it out. High plank. Try that high plank. Yeah, that's it. Press back. Good. All the way forward. Two forward. High plank. Good. You have nine more. Press it back. And all the way forward. Nice. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Keep that belly zipped in. Take your hips back as low as they can get. Curve those heels. Press. Should it increase their resistance just a little more? Good. Four more. Good, you, get, you can always come onto your forearm here if you need to, if your wrist bothering you. Good, two more, last two. Good, one more. Arm reaches high, hold three, two, one. Lower, rest for a second, let's flip, other side. Wow. Good, so keep switching. Keep breathing here. And then again, beautiful, go for four more. Good, now deepen in your belly more. So you have to press down to that low back a little deeper. Good, three more. That's it. Beautiful. Breathe. Good. Up. Down. Up. Beautiful. Down. And up. Good. Now really press down through those forearms and those elbows. And that's going to help you engage your upper back a little more and open the chest a little more. And around. And up. Good. Around. And up. Now keep the rest of your body still, right? All the way around. And up. And hold. Bring your left knee to left elbow. Reach it all the way high. Left knee to left elbow. Reach it all the way high. Good. For nine. And reach. For eight. Reach. Beautiful. That's it. Keep to press it forward. I know it's really hard. Keep going. Little pulses. Up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Little circle. Circle. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. So the last one will go on the side. Six. 
five. Yeah, knee to elbow, all the way long. Beautiful. Good, that's it. Give me five more. Almost there, for four. For three. For two. One more. Reach it out, just hold, stay. Uh, hey guys, so. I might have to bring this up. Yeah, that's not gonna work, I don't think. Or is it? So, I don't even really know where to start. Honestly, it's been a few, it's not been a few days, it's been many days since I last vlogged. So basically, the footage that you guys would have just seen, the workout um, was filmed not this past Friday, but the Friday before that. And then I knew that day that I was only gonna film the workout and I was gonna continue um, like a full day of eating on Tuesday or Wednesday and I literally tried to start that full day of eating twice and I just couldn't like I I picked up the camera and I didn't feel like myself I felt like I was sad and I felt like I wasn't just like my normal happy funny self you know and I was like okay I can't vlog right now, I can't finish this video today, I'm just gonna put it off. And that day, I think it was Wednesday, ended up being a really weird day. I think that was the day that everything kind of settled and became very real. It's so funny because when all of this started, I was so gung-ho and I was like, wow, I'm gonna have all this time, I'm gonna daily vlog. <laughs> I didn't even tell you guys that, but I was planning on doing it because I was like, what else am I gonna do? It worked for a few days and then after that I was like, okay, this is actually not gonna be possible really. Um, so I just, I had to take some time, I had to slow down a little bit, and after that happened, I, I basically just took all, the rest of, like, this past week to not vlog, not touch the camera, not do anything in terms of YouTube, except for upload that video that you guys would have seen on Friday. I really tried to fight what I was feeling for a few days, and I was like, no, I'm just gonna push through, and I'm gonna continue on with my life. Um, or at least try and continue going on with my life as normal as possible. But in the, like, the reality is like, this is just not a normal situation, you know? It's not normal for anyone. And I think part of the reason why I wanted to keep pushing through is because I felt guilty for like, the way that I was feeling. You know, I'm not working right now, I don't have money coming in necessarily. I, I have money coming in from jobs that I've done the past two months, but I don't have money coming in like right now because I'm not doing any jobs, I'm not doing any photo shoots. That being said, I don't have any financial worries as of right now. I have a savings account, which I worked really hard for, but it's still there, you know? I was kind of mad at myself for feeling the way that I was feeling because I, like, there's so many people that are paid by the hour that are really struggling right now, and then there's people who are sick, and I'm, I'm not dealing with either of those things, you know? So I was trying to fight that feeling for a few days and then I was like, it's okay to feel this way, even if you don't have financial worries necessarily or you know, you're a healthy person because like realistically our life is not normal at the moment. I think once I was able to accept the way that I was feeling and say that it's okay to feel that way, um, that's when I started like feeling better again and getting back to myself a little bit. Today, today, what day is it today? Honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I have no sense of any day of the week anymore. My sleep schedule's also been slightly weird, um, but we'll get into that. Today's Monday, it's March 30th. It's, it's just a weird time. And I was, it's funny, I was actually talking to my mom about this. She sent me an interesting article. I'll leave that in the description box, but it's about how, um, we're like kind of going through the stages of grief during this quarantine. And once I read that article, I was like, wow, this is actually how I've been feeling. There's like five stages of grief. The first is like denial. <laughs> I think definitely was in denial. Yeah, go check out that article down below. But um, I think what I've realized over the last week is that as much as we might want to just push through and act like things are normal, or as much as I might want to do that, things just aren't normal. I'm not saying take this time to do nothing because I don't think that that's productive either um, and I'll get into that in a sec but take the time to adjust and I'm telling you this from personal experience like I am always the kind of person that is like push through and push through those walls and just keep going you know um, but in order to be able to keep going sometimes you need time to adjust to a new situation 
and I just felt like in the beginning, I just felt like in the first week I wasn't really doing that. And now that I've been able to do that, I can go on with my life and I can make a new routine and this new lifestyle that we have to have for the next however many weeks or months, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, um, kind of talk about how it's been for me. Obviously at the end of the day, I'm beyond grateful for my position in life and just like being able to have a roof over my head, have food in the fridge, have a savings account. I'm also so grateful for social media and FaceTime because I don't know what any of us would be doing without that. So yeah, I don't want to say too much, but my goal for this week, and I've already kind of made a list of things that I want to do this week. Um, let me find it actually. March 30th to April 3rd. Um, Oh, first thing on my list was to film this portion of the video, so check. And yeah, but basically what my goal for this week is to kind of establish a routine. Something that works really well for me in the normal life is having a routine. You guys would know if you've watched my 5am videos and all that stuff. Um, having a routine just like gives me stability. So I'm going to try and establish like a at-home quarantine routine for myself this week. Um, I kind of have been creating one over the last few days, which has felt really good. So I'm going to get that down and I'm going to film that and then um, maybe film a workout. That would be nice. So yeah, create a routine and film a video. And then um, the other thing that I really want to do this week is I want to journal every day. I've been doing that for the past few days. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this. Maybe I have. But I have this document in my computer. And um, I usually write something in there every two weeks or so. I make like a little entry. It's like two pages of typing and I just kind of like make an update on my life and like what's going on. But the past few days I've been doing that every day. Not necessarily two pages, but just, um, just like writing things that I'm thinking about. I find that this time and like maybe especially for me because I'm alone, I'm thinking a lot about like where I want my life to go, what direction I want my life to go in, and the things that I plan to do once we get out of this situation. I think that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, before I end this video, I do wanna challenge you guys to something. I wanna come out of this quarantine as a better person. I'm not saying I'm a bad person now, not at all, but um, I want to really take this time to reflect on my life and reflect on who I am as horrible as this is, um, I think it's happening for a reason and we have to take advantage of this time to reflect and grow and become better as people. So I want to challenge you guys to take some time and really self-reflect. Reflect on your life, reflect on the people in your life, reflect on your job, reflect on your dreams, your purpose in life. Yeah, I just want everybody to come out of this feeling refreshed and excited about the direction that their life is going in. I, I think this might be a once in a lifetime opportunity to really take a step back and like change things that we're doing. So that's my little challenge for you guys this week. That's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Like I would love to hear about how you guys are doing, um, what part of the world you're in, what's going on in your city or country. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.